Hey guys, I got a new video for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to unbrick a Samsung Galaxy player. This is the 4.0 model. Um, mine's actually not bricked right now, but I'm going to brick it for you because it's 1 o'clock in the morning and I'm not thinking clearly. So, here we go. Here's the home screen. Uh, this is a specific ROM I'm using. Uh, it's Cyogen mod. Nine or ten? Nine, yeah. So it looks a little bit different than a normal Galaxy player. The, di the disadvantage of this mod is the home button doesn't work, and if you boot into recovery, it will actually lock up your phone. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to boot it into recovery. If you try to reboot into recovery, they actually have that option locked out, so you don't accidentally do it. But I'm going to do it anyway, since I literally just did it, and it took me a while to figure out how to get back. So, I want to show you, if, in case you get in a similar situation, how to get out of it. Alright, so we'll power off the device. Alright, look. Um, clock word, Clockwork Recovery. Uh, it's a really good program, but unfortunately, or recovery program, but unfortunately it doesn't work very well with this mod. See, we could have done the backup or whatever, and when we try to exit, to reboot the phone... Samsung logo. And we're back where we started. You can try wiping cache, you can try a Davlet cache, you could probably even wipe data, and it wouldn't actually work. So now we're gonna move over so now we're gonna plug it into my computer with this cable. <coughs> plug it in nice. Camera won't actually reach very well. And I can actually access ADB still. So I could try to do something that way. But let's actually brick it. Because right now we're unable to boot. If we go into download mode. And plug it back in. There we go. Now we're in download mode. Now if you were to say try to flash something right now. With it not being able to boot up. This boot image right here. Hey it actually worked that time. Last time it didn't actually boot up. Then we're back to where we started. It doesn't really work with ADB. It just barely charges and it can do basic connection and stuff. Let's plug this one in. And go back to the program. And try to flash the same thing. I think my computer just froze. Hold on. Okay, now we're back. Um, I'm going to try to flash this again. Okay. Now here's the example. Um, if you like plug in a cable and it doesn't read it right or something like that, you may get a something like this that says uh, kernel upload failed. And then when we try to turn this thing off, Pull out the battery. Turn it back on. You'll get this icon, this infamous little icon here. Um, has a picture of the phone. I'm see if, I'll see if I can get it into focus. Uh, yeah. Basically, with this, no matter what you do, you can't access recovery. You can't access anything. So you start it back up. It goes straight to there. This is actually like the bare bones download mode where nothing else is working. This is what I was talking about. I'm pretty sure this is just a soft brick. I'm not exactly sure the technical terms. But I'm going to show you actually how to recover from this. So my, it looks like my screen program, recording program is still going. So what you got to do, first thing you gotta, I would suggest you do is, I like to do this first, is turn it off first. I just pull out the battery because it's 1 o'clock in the morning. haven't gotten much sleep. Uh, slide the battery back in. And then turn it on while it's connected. And then over here, you will need a few things. The first thing you're going to need, the first thing we're going to try, is just uh, reinstalling the kernel. Because if you had a kernel problem, that would be the only thing that's going on. All right, now I got my computer up, back up and running. Here is the screen we had, and now we're going to attempt to fix that. I have a new copy of Handle open, so I can show you from the 
beginning. I really apologize to the guy if I'm pronouncing this wrong, but anyway, so here we go. It's plugged in using the official Samsung cable just to make sure nothing goes wrong. Now the first thing you'll need is you'll need a partition file or a PIT file. That you'll have to find all if you have a different model of phone, but I'm using the Samsung Galaxy, not Samsung, yeah, Samsung Galaxy Player USA version. So I, and I already downloaded the file. I'll have a link to that and a link to the um, international version too. Let's go recently used. Here we go. And there we go. Now that we have that partition thing added, it will know where everything is supposed to be stored. The first thing we're going to do is, um, if, you, if you're if you working with a kernel, a, in other words, you're trying to install like a recovery or something, you can try just rewriting the kernel. If that works, then you're good, and you'll get keep all your programs and stuff, and you won't have to delete anything. So we're not going to choose any of these options. We click Add, and Kernel, Browse, and now we will try to find the kernel file. Which one is it? Um, yes, I used silent, where is it? Terra Silent. Alright. And now I have Terra Silent loaded up here as you can see. And it says kernel and now we'll go back to the phone. And the phone still is in its primal download mode. So we'll go ahead and get this started and go. There is a Windows version of this, but I had some pr trouble installing drivers, so that's why I'm using the uh, Linux version. Okay. If you get an error like this, what I usually do is just restart it with the device plugged in first. I could just turn it off and just point out the battery because it's already bricked, so. But I suggest you just turn it off, turn it back on. Now press start. There we go. Now we actually got a logo, so that's a good start. And it shows the kernel. So remember, the kernel is a little bit different. Because um, I'm using a custom kernel. You could use the official kernel. Um, again, this is if you just had a kernel problem. If you just want to restore the, uh, the original Galaxy stock firmware. I will show you that too, but I'm just showing you if you're working custom because most of the sorry Chances are if you run into a problem like this that means you were trying to run something custom So I might you might as well try the custom thing if you went through all this trouble already Okay, sorry about this being blurry, but now that we have that installed It still didn't boot up because according to the instructions of our custom ROM we need to install a boot image too because I'm installing Cy Cyanogen mod. At least it's a modification of it. It's um, Paranoid Android. So now what we're going to need to do is we'll need to also in the kernel slot we will be browsing to let's see if I can find it um, boot.img so now we have boot.img loaded up and now we should be able to flash it and we'll just go ahead and click start. Oh, we, we have to put this back in download mode. Hold down once it's starting up, and you'll be back in download mode. Sorry if I didn't mention that before. Uh, in order to start in download mode, you hold the power button and down for the USA version. It may be a little bit different if you have something else. And then it, as soon as this logo comes up, you, you can let go of the power button, keep holding down. It should take you to download mode. And now that you're in download mode, Let's go back to the computer and go ahead and click start. And we got that thing again. So just leave it the cable plugged in. Like I said, I have better luck when a cable's plugged in the whole time. Okay, we still got that up, so we didn't break anything. We still need to install that boot image, so. Okay, so it's a little bit tricky. Okay, because if you have it plugged in too soon, it'll ramp the charging screen. So power, volume down, that brings up download. Plug it in, and hit start. 
And there we go. Flash completed successfully. For some reason, my camera does not want to focus on this. Alright, let's see if we can get a successful boot this time. Yep. There we go. Now we're back to where we were before. Um, again, that might that first method might not work for everyone, but it's the same setup if you want to do a, a full flash or if you want to flash back to the original firmware. So now that this is actually working, you can see that it's working again. I can actually boot up and run my apps. It's taking a little while to load everything, but yeah, it's actually fully working again. I unsoft bricked it using thanks to this awesome program. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to load up if you load up the um, what is it called? Sorry, load up the uh, flashing program if you want to do a complete flashback to the original firmware. And now we'll just be a computer only. Okay, so you'll need the full uh, part. We only need all the partitions in order to reflash back to the original firmware. If you're on the screen that you saw me at before. So basically, when you're at the flashing screen, what you'll need is we'll remove this. First thing you'll need to do is pr is the partitions file. You should already have that selected. Um, now you click Add, and we'll start with Factory FS. Now you click Browse. I'm going to go to where I have the file stored. Can't let you guys see my files. Uh, where is it? Okay. Users, David, documents. Okay. And, okay, here it is. The folder is called YG1 US Restore. So the first thing we selected was Factory FS. So we click the Factory FS thing, and it should get ready to load it up. Okay, and you do the same with the rest of them. You have to si you click on what you want. Okay, so you do that with the rest of them. You have Param, Kernel cache and um, database files. I'll have it come up on a screen what they what you need to select for each of them. And once you have them all selected, all you have to do is just click start. You can make your own package if you want so you don't have to do that again. Basically once you have them all set here in your package, like you have cache, let's say you want to do um let's see where is it? Kernel. Once you have all the files loaded up, you can flash it. Now, after you're done flashing, if you want, you can uh, create a it into create a package for it. And when you create the package by clicking on this, once it's full, but mine's not. Um, kernel is the image. Yeah, you can actually click over here to create a package. You can say stock and fill in all this other information. And by that, you'll be able to have a package that you can just load up here next time you want to restore and restore it easily. I'm going to try to upload my package, but I haven't tested it yet. So, I mean, if your device is already bricked, it won't really matter. But you can just use this package if you want. I'll have, and it will have all the this stuff chosen for you already. But if you want to do it manually, here's how you do it. Basically, just click that for each of the ones. Just click add when you want to add another section. And when you have them all, just click start. And it should uh, load it up and flash it to your device. And you should be back on the original stock firmware. So, thanks for watching. I'm still working on the how to make a media server video. But, uh, I hope you enjoy this video in the meantime. Uh, see you all later. Bye.